And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxo. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma on a beautiful Southern California day, and we have a couple of great guests, Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Cedro Sport Fishing. We're going to be talking some serious fishing down at that beautiful island, so you stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. The future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade, so swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot by icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, good to be here this morning. Thanks yeah. for covering. Yeah. Long, uh, Glad long you're weekend. back. <laughs> yeah, long Cut. weekend last week. but uh, the tooth out. Yeah, all good, man. Yeah. What, a, what an ordeal that was. That was but, not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. But thanks so much to you and Corey Don't, for covering, man. Yeah, was, of course. Yeah, yeah, Corey stepped in the last minute, and uh, oh, yeah, you just had yeah. a, a nasty infection in your tooth, right? Crazy. I've never had anything like that before. You know, I go to the dentist like everybody does, all regular. But, man, it just, yeah, it hit, and it was just a case of timing where, it, like, it hit me on... Like a, it hit me on like a Thursday, Friday when the dentist couldn't see me till it was just, dude, it was heavy duty, man. <laughs> but all good. And, you're, uh, you're back, yeah, and, back you look and, fa- and you look normal. I mean, it was, it's crazy yeah. that like you can have something that's so horrific, and then Monday morning you see the dentist at ten o'clock, and by eleven you're back home, all good again. Like, well, yeah. that's glad that's over. Like, yeah, was, glad that's done. Yeah, no doubt. But <laughs> well, uh, yep, cool. feeling good and stoked to be talking about uh, Cedros today, man. This is yeah, this is a show I look forward to so much. It's such an easy fun show to do because you're talking about fishing at one of the i mean one of the coolest places in the whole world man. this is gonna be a great one yeah good morning rosie and jeff hi guys good morning good yeah morning. great to have you and uh you've been a busy oh, couple can't imagine. Haven't you? oh my god <laughs> oh yes imagine. It, yeah. it has been crazy since we announced you know the new lodge the new lodge i mean it's been it's been crazy because everyone that i could not accommodate before now are on trips yeah so it's like so yeah you were like went from sold out to yeah we can get you on that trip went from sold out to i got 300 spots who's (laughs) whoever calls first gets them so so. tell us about the new lodge oh my goodness the new lodge is i mean how could it be better than what you have for real 
You know what? I mean, I, I call them sister lodges. Yeah. I mean, the they're... pictures look amazing. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, and I know where the location is, and that's a prime time location. It is. You know, it's it's a stone's throw from our lodge now. Mm-hmm. It's um, you know, everyone says you know they love our lodge because it sits right on the cliff's edge. Well. The new one does, too. Yeah. Uh, we love your lodge because, you know, um, the view is amazing. Well, the new one is, too. Yeah. You know, oh, we love your lodge because you can sit down and, and, and have breakfast and look out at the water. Yeah, well, the new one does, too. I mean, it's, it's basically, I call it, like I said, a sister lodge because it's the same thing. You know, just a stone's throw up the hill. Everything is, is hunky-dory on doing what we do at the existing lodge for the Still last 15 years operating out of cbx walk right across and get on the on the custom charter everything everything it is exactly the same wow it's exactly the same so you know same everything that you guys have have grown accustomed to with cedro sport fishing is going to be the cedro sport fishing lodge too what about boats and captains? You know, Javier and Lalo. <laughs> Come on. Those guys, they've got it all dialed in. Javier has been building, Javier and Lalo have been building new pongas. Um, and then, plus, you know, there's existing pongas down there um, from the people that had owned the lodge before us. You know, they had pongas and ponga captains. And, you know, it, it's such a, 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 you know, we have this fishing community here in San Diego. Well, they have a fishing community down there at sure. Cedros. Sure. And they all know one another. They all take care of one another on the water. You know, somebody needs something, they're there in a heartbeat. Well, that's kind of how they are when, you know, we are having, needing four to six new pongas um, for trips. You know, all they do are make phone calls, that's you cool. know. And, and. Trust me, people down there on the island are eager to work. They want well, a job. The spot. Yeah, yeah, and Plus they it's lucrative work for them too. Well, they know the the quality of what Cedro Sport Fishing does, and you know we always raise that bar. We raise the level, and the Ponca captains bring on other captains that they give them this. Expectation. They tell them what is expected of them. Yeah. And they rise to the occasion. Yeah. So you will have some Ponga captains back that we had working for us years ago that may have moved off the island, gone to school, or had children, whatever. And now they're Paul. I don't know if you oh, guys great. remember. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. back, you know. So we'll have all these great Ponga captains. We have a Ponga captain that was kind of a sub that would rotate in and out. Chava. Chava will be with us full time. Flocka will be with us full time. Wow. So it's like Ponga captains that you guys have fished with in the past that now will have full time jobs. Fantastic. So. Well, I remember the first time Ricky and I were invited down to yeah. Tom Green and Adrian invited us down to this operation they were starting because Sedro Sport Fishing is the original operation down there. Uh, How many years ago? That was like 15 15. years ago. 15 15 years years ago. ago. 15 plus. And and we went down there and we stayed like in a hotel. Like like this. It was like a little motel. Little little motel and, 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 and stayed there. And then we went out with a commercial guy and his dad, I remember, came up and <laughs> gave us uh, fresh sashimi abalone. They Never were abalone divers, that. and uh, I mean, we and we caught like amazing calico bass fishing. And it was it was off kind of off season, April, early April, wind was blowing and stuff like that. But we still got a lot of good fishing. Yeah, there. it was such the it was such what Cedro sport fishing is. It's the cool, true Mexico experience. Right. We were yes. down there on the Ponga, and we were fishing with a guy who worked for the commercial fishing cooperativo. And hey, my dad's over here. Let's you know we're gonna tra- so check we're, it out. We're gonna trade him whatever it was. We're gonna trade him a yellowtail, and we got limes from a buddy that was on another boat. And then we found his dad, and his dad went down and popped an abalone, and we had sashimi. It was just like one of those things. Soy it was like, and, and, yeah, it was and, like everything that you know a cool Mexico thing is. It was yeah. fun. It was adventure. It was barter. It was buds. It was a couple of cold ones and some yeah. fresh seafood. It was just like it's like a big family. Dinner. Yeah, totally. That's what you know what it totally is. It's it's you know it's. A, it's a big island, but it's a small island. Yeah. If you get my meaning, sure. it's like everybody knows everybody. Everyone takes care of everyone. Everyone knows everybody's business. And it's like, you know, you know the guy does the abalone, and I know the guy that does the lime. Yeah. Let's get that together. Was, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, that was <laughs> so cool. time. yeah, and then so Tom goes, well, what do you think? Oh, you got something <laughs> yeah, here, man. No yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah we're, we're in. Exactly. Yeah, that's how, and, there, and that's how it started. And who would have thought that 15 yeah. years later, yeah. the most, I mean, just the most turnkey opera- 
generation. Because, I mean, still, you are flying down to an island in Mexico. Yes. Like, you wouldn't think that you could do that trip and have it so rosy dialed in. But it is, man. I mean, it is yeah. dialed. Oh, yeah. Streamlined. Yeah. So, so tell us about a trip. For those of our listeners that may not be familiar with Sedro Sport Fishing, tell us about how a trip works at Sedro Sport. Okay. Well, we are truly the all-inclusive lodge. Okay. Everything except alcohol and gratuity. Um, we take, I take care of everything. So your, you have a, we will all be down at the CBX. We take care of your cross border express passes. I meet you there with everything you need from your FMM visa, your Mexican fishing license. We're still getting dialed in what they're going to be doing with COVID this mm-hmm. year. There might be a health form needed, but I meet you down there with everything on you need. On the U.S. side. On the U.S. side. You park on the U.S. side. The CBX is kind of like a frontage of an airport. Happens mm-hmm. to be the frontage of the Tijuana International Airport. Meet you on the U.S. side. We, uh, 390 feet, we get you over to the Mexico side. You go through customs immigration right there, and that's how we get away with our direct flight to the island. I have a concierge service in, in the Tijuana International Airport that they basically hold your hand on that side of the airport. They'll, you know, get you to a little area in the airport where, you know, there's eateries and a as Jeff, Jeff's little favorite octopus taco bar over there. Oh, that he likes the food so at the Tijuana Airport is so awesome. It's so it, is. Good. Yeah, it is. And, it is. And there's nothing better than, you know, at nine o'clock in the morning having an octopus taco with a good buddy or your kid with a margarita. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know vacation started. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what oh, it yeah. is. It's like the official start. Like, start of vacation. Yeah. So, um, and then when the plane is ready, and, and I love that, you know, it's. It's our chartered aircraft. When it's ready to go, it goes. Sometimes it might leave a half hour early if, you know, Mother Nature is is all good and everything. So here we go. So, you know, down to the island and all your ground transportation is taken care of, your meals, your ponga, your lodging, fish fish processing. Mm -hmm. It is all included. Yeah, you have your own fish processing center. Correct. Now, does that do the processing for both lodges? At it that sure one does. Okay, so you it cover sure both does. of them there. We just purchased a bunch of new freezers. New freezers have gone down so that we can keep the lodges separate, mm. keep everything yeah. dialed in again, you know, um, so everyone will get their own fish back. Um, I modeled the fish processing company to be in such a way that, you know, everything is nice and clean. Uh, the fish is table ready. All the skin, red line, everything's out. Everything's processed into one and a half pound bags, uh, labeled per species, commercial grade vacuum sealer, plopped in the freezer, good to go. Perfect. Yeah. And that's the, that, that's the Cedro sport fishing experience is it's Absolutely. all dialed in. Jeff, you've You've done it many times. You have to do field research, right? Oh. Rosie oh, forces yeah. you yeah, to go sure. down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. There, no longer do I have to ask permission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jeff, you need to go yeah. and uh, really get some field research one. and make sure everything's okay. You know, and it's it's harder to sell that to her than saying it's field research yeah. because we have done, <laughs> she has done such a great job yeah. of dialing the thing in. Now when we come back or while we're down there, we ask people, what could we do different? And you just see a bunch of people looking at each other, and they take a drink of their beer or their, you know, cocktail, and they just kind of shrug their shoulders and go, "This is awesome. Yeah, this is this is the easy button. Yeah." And uh, I'll tell you what, it, you know, there there's so many things that, that Rosie could tell you more about what's going on down there. But if you've thought about experiencing it, don't think any longer. Just do it. Yeah. And and you're gonna be in that group of people that will tell other people. I had an awesome time. I'm going back. Yeah, it's a unique experience that's going on right now because it, that that what you just described happened, you know, three or four years ago, five years ago, and Rosie came on where if you wanted to get on a trip and experience it, you could. And you know, previous to Lodge Number Two, it, it became really difficult. You know, mm-hmm. there was only there's only X amount of there's only X amount of spots per year, and there's a lot more people that wanted to go than there were spots. And it was you know, I mean, if you've been the year before, you have first rider refusal That's on your right. trip for next year, and all of a sudden it became a place where. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, there just isn't an opportunity anymore. And then Lodge Number Two came on this line that kind of opened up the doors again. But the writing's on the wall. The next couple of years are going to go by, and the same thing's going to happen. I mean, there's, yeah. all, there's, there's, there's less spots than there is enthusiastic people that want to go. And like, we're just you're in the ground floor again to get to go experience it. Like, just like Jeff said, don't let it pass you by. It's such a cool trip. Yeah. yeah. Once someone gets down there, I mean, we we have a, a couple charter masters that went down there one year. Actually, it was one of Jeff's contractor friends, and he came back and said, "Book me for the next ten. 
<laughs> and he was serious and, and cool. he wow. worked for the next 10 wow. so it's like you know we had people that may not have gone they may have come off a trip and didn't rebook sure. like you said and then also they couldn't get back on and didn't they didn't think that it would be difficult to go back but now all of a sudden it was difficult yeah. so so, so we now you actually easy. have spots open i do have a few spots yeah. open and what you I have a feeling after this show they won't <laughs> yeah, be. Yeah. But I have a few spots open on like prime, prime. Well, but that's what everything's prime down but that's there. That's what Lodge Number Two did for. <laughs> that's what yeah. Lodge Number Two yeah. did. But how many know, people at Lodge Number Two? Same twelve. Twelve spots. Yeah, it's twelve spots. Yeah. yeah. So it's like we still can get people down there, but it's like you know I've got some onesie twosie spots, and I've got spots that I can hold four or five. Okay. So, but like you know, even like you know, um, Cal and Eric sheets. They had a spot open on their trip, so we're looking for one guy that's a little bit to go fishy. with Carol and Eric. Go with Cal and wow. Eric. Wow, yeah. that's be fun. So, but just yeah. to say, what is that you, trip? you made a comment. You said a guy, not necessarily true. We also cater to the women who would like to this fish. Is true. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. So if you're sitting oh, there thinking spot. about it, what an awesome availability to to go down, especially with with Cal and Eric. And if you're a lady uh, that has fished and you're looking for some experience and someone to help you, totally. Man, what a great couple of people to go fish with. Oh yeah. Well, or like we have Steph Franklin, you know, grand champion pit master. Okay, loves to fish. He's got two spots open on his July trip. On July trip? A July yeah. trip. Not only that, but you remember, he's a grand champion pit master, right? So what does he take down to the island? Oh, Wagyu brisket. Oh, get uh, out of here. Serious. The guy makes every every evening meal. He makes all the proteins. <laughs> no way. Wow. That's what he cool. talk about a trip to go on. It's like, you know, honey, you're running the lodge that day. Yeah, right. Down. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> huh? That sounds too good. It's amazing. So, And these trips, like you say, are all inclusive. The food's amazing. Yeah. Uh, even if you don't have a pit master, yeah. it's still amazing. It, it yeah. is. It yeah. is. You know, we are a simple lodge. Yeah. There's nothing extravagant about us. We are that proverbial Mexican oh, so easy. Good. Yeah. That's us. And, and and here's the thing. There are other lodges down there, but the people to try the other ones always come back to Safeco Sports. Oh, yeah. It's because Absolutely. it's the best. I mean, that's the yeah. bottom line. It may cost a couple of bucks more. It's the old story. You get what you pay for. You get what you yeah. pay for. Yeah. You know, it's like I had a call yesterday from a gentleman. He's like, oh, Rosie, he goes, you know, he goes, first of all, when I talk to you, he goes, you make me feel like I'm the only one in your world, <laughs> which is the way it should no, be, you by do the such way. such a great job. And, you know, he says, I, I tried another lodge, and he goes, it just... It wasn't. I, I had no warm fuzzies. Yeah. And he goes, you know what? He goes, you want everything just taken care of. When you go on a vacation, you don't want to worry about anything. And he goes, with you, I don't worry about anything. Yeah. Well, especially if you're not used to traveling to Mexico. It's a foreign country. You just, you know, there's yeah. things that make people apprehensive. There's language yeah. barriers, and there's just the unknown. And you, you make the unknown go yeah. away. Like you, yeah. you know, when when you are going on a trip that Rosie puts together, you get sent out basically a travel packet of like every little thing to prepare yourself for. Because I, I can assure you, we say it all the time: going through CBX is nothing. There is nothing to it. But if you've never been, you've still never been. Well, Rosie like prints out an entire itinerary. This is what it's like. This is what you do. This is where you go. Here's some thoughts on tipping. Here's the things about your clothes. Like you just you you have gone through and every question that a guy might have or a gal might have, it gets answered before they ever Absolutely. leave the house. And it's a really nice peace of mind. Yeah, and, and, you know, and even when you're down there, uh, I'm available by phone. They, yeah. they, the phones work down yeah. there. Yeah, your cell phone yeah. works. Totally. They have full yeah. internet at the lodge. Yeah. 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 I got Both people, lodges? Both lodges. Both lodges. Yeah, okay. and I, I got people, t- you know, texting me pictures. Look what I caught today. Yeah, totally. You know? Yeah. And, and what do you think goes on the Facebook or the Instagram yeah. pages? What you guys sent me was what you caught no, that it's, day. It's, if you've so. never been... You got to go. Totally. If you have been, you understand what we're talking <laughs> yeah, about. That's exactly. the bottom line. And as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about. Phones are already packed. You're popular, lady. Yeah, no I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, let me, I'm going to give you the number, but good luck. It's going to be a very busy morning. Phones are already totally full, but we are going to get you through. Well, there gonna might be, be one open. There's going to be lots of opportunity for your phone calls today. That's 213-432-1090. Again, 213-432-1090. That's your opportunity. Talk to Rosie. Talk to 
with Jeff, talk some sea drow sport fishing with us. Going to be a great show. Or you can text the show. Lots of great text pouring in, but another great way to participate by texting the show. As always, that's only available via the Let's Talk Hookup app. Just uh, download the app if you don't have it already. Not only can you text the show, but you can listen to the archives. You can catch up on all the past shows. It's a great way to participate with Let's Talk Hookup. And the only way that you can text in your question to Rosie, not only are we going to be reading texts and taking phone calls, we've got some great catch reports to look forward to, some very, very good bluefin fishing again this week. Even with all that wind, it's been spectacular, so we'll be covering all that. We are also giving away a really cool prize, and we're giving away a fishing trip that I know Jeff and Rosie both love a lot, and that's a full-day trip going fishing on board the San Diego at a sea force sport fishing. (laughs) Yeah, an awesome, awesome prize and a great trip for one lucky caller or texter. As you know, the way that we decide the winner, we'll take uh, basically all the callers that make it on the air, all the texters that get read on the air, and uh, we pull a potential winner from each category. At the end of the show, Rosie's going to flip a coin uh, that designates caller or texter. Whoever that lands on, that's going to be our big winner of a trip on the San Diego. So again, text the show via the app. Give us a call at 213-432-1090 when we come back. We're going to be talking Cedro Sport Fishing. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Your vacation bucket list can't be completed without visiting the Katmai Lodge, Alaska this summer. A world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. Get in the action fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. King, sockeye, chum, coho, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout, arctic grayling, and dolly varden, both in the Alagnac and nearby waters. Katmai Lodge's Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fly fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in, ensuring your days are fish-filled while you enjoy freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river. Back at the lodge, enjoy fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon. Delicious dinner prepared by the lodge's exceptional chef. Take a quick fly-out trip to Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park for world-renowned bear watching. And check out our trout fishing specials at katmai.com. That's K-A-T-M-A-I.com. Katmai.com. Hey, and now it's time to talk about where the fish are always biting, and that's Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. I'm telling you, some of the fish, there is nobody that has a better case of fresh fish than Point Loma Seafoods anywhere in the world. Period. Yeah. They did such a dirty trick this week on their social media. I saw yesterday they had a picture of a fresh Dungeness crab sandwich. Oh. I'm getting one today. Like I mean, yeah. I saw it last night. I'm like, that is what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. It was just, it was almost not fair that they posted that yeah. photo. That looked amazing. Oh, yeah. No, it's so good. The other thing you can mix, you can have mix in shrimp. Oh, combo the shrimp and combo. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's the best. Yeah. Oh, it's so good so with that good. Mrs. Kelly's tartar <laughs> sauce. But like the sushi, the smoked fish, and and taking fresh fish home or whatever you want. There's nothing better than Point Loma Seafoods. We're making you hungry, aren't we? It's the yeah. freshest thing in town. <laughs> yeah, the lunch. freshest thing in town. Right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma, Point Loma Seafoods. Rock Cod Rick here to tell you about Parker Boats and the guys at West Coast Marine. By now, you all know my boat partner and I bought a new 25 Parker Center console from crew at West Coast Marine in Costa Mesa. We've known for a long time that a Parker was the boat for us. It's a stout, workhorse of a boat built to last and get you home when the seas get rough. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore tuna grounds. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all sizes, Fishing in the same areas as the sporties. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. West Coast Marine has several new Parkers in stock and ready for delivery. And they have more on the way. Don't get caught without a reliable boat when fishing is this good. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine. Check out the inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. The giant Captain Rollo's used tackle sale is back. Join us Saturday, April 30th at Seaforth Landing for our biggest sale ever. Doors open from 11 to 3. Come early for best selection, and we will see you there. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup again. Talking Cedro sport fishing with Rosie and Jeff. Going to be fun, dude. Yeah, it is going to be fun talking about that. And, uh, yeah, you just heard about the giant used tackle sale from Tim, the one and only Tim Baker. He did a great yes, job with that. Yeah, he's that sounds quite really the voice, good. isn't yeah, he? That's yeah, that's great. And that's 
next Saturday? Yeah, it is. How about that, huh? So gear up at, at, at C4 Sport Fishing. That's going to be a big, big day. Talk about it every time, all the stuff that comes in. Just last week, a uh, cool set of rods came in, a couple of gold Trinidads, you know, Trinidad 20 and a Trinidad Ooh. 14. And there was a really cool rod. I know I mentioned it once before that was a high-end custom rod that was – uh, made as a Friends of Rollo donation. So, I mean, it's kind of wrapped in red, white, and blue colors. Got Friends of Rollo on the rod. This person um, won it at the Fred Hall show a couple of years, fished with it a bunch, loved it, and just thought that it deserved to to carry on. It's sale. not by any means like a funky don't need it anymore. He just thought that, you know what, I got my fare out of it and I want it to go raise oh, some more money. Cool. So he redonated it to the tackle sale. Oh, so you can look for that. It's just, there is so much good stuff it, at this sale. It, it's unbelievable. And the way tackle is right now, it's, it's, it's going to be seriously popular and there's, it's not junk. Yeah. It's good. There's a lot of good stuff. So, and all of the money all of the money goes to taking kids That's fishing. It. So, giant used car, used car, used car. Used, <laughs> used, the giant used tackle, tackle sale, sale. <laughs> the tackle sale, rods, reels, boxes. I mean, you lures, you so name it. Much stuff. So much stuff. It's gonna like thousands of items are gonna be there, and it's gonna be at Seaforth Sport Fishing next Saturday. Yeah. So you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. I, if my intel tells me correct, there's a gentleman that is retiring from fishing. And he has donated a lot of stuff, mm. uh, and it is stuff I want. Yeah. So and there's a lot of that there. You yeah. guys yeah. get down there. Yeah. yeah, I have to get down there early. Yeah, get down there early. What time does it start? I'm, we'll look. Yeah, yeah. all right. I've, we'll look. check it out. Hey, ask let's Tim go. Baker. Yeah, we asked Tim Baker. Yeah, we should have listened to the spot for sure. Hey, uh, let's go ahead and jump to those jam packed phones, Rick. That sounds awesome. Every phone line full. If you want to get your shot, it's at 213 432 1090. We're going to start off with Russ. He's calling us from San Diego this morning. Good morning, Russ. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah, uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be going on the LTH. Cedro's trip in early July, and I have a question about halibut fishing at Cedro's. Okay. All right. Um, is it, or <clears throat> how is it different regarding halibut fishing at Cedro's versus here in SoCal? Um, you know, technique-wise and tackle-wise, rod and reel, and will I be okay with a uh, one-speed reel? Uh, thanks for all. I'll take my answer off line. Thank you. Hey, thanks. All right, thanks Russ. very much, and have a great trip. Yeah. That's going to be a fun one. Always a popular. So, well, Jeff, I, I can I can jump in on this one because the last time we were down there, we uh, we spent an afternoon just specifically fishing the halibut, and uh, we we're using a six ounce torpedo sinker with kind of a Carolina rig. Uh, we used two treble hooks for uh, dragging the the little mackerel on the bottom and we were fishing on uh, the east side of the island and i can't tell you exactly where if it's a <laughs> sumner spot <laughs> uh no all, all the skippers know where it is and it's obvious once you get there that oh yeah there this this place is where halibut would be um and it's uh it's great fishing so you know you set up kind of it's like a, like a trap rig mm -hmm. and um you know you kind of sit there and drag along the bottom and and hang on because sometimes they're uh, aggressive when they bite and sometimes it's like was that a bite or was that something bouncing on the bottom and yeah, we've had some success, and uh, and it's kind of newfound success. That's they, cool. We uh, in the past years didn't fish the halibut that hard, and just kind of a byproduct catch. But um, there are some spots that you can go to and target them. I would say too to, to like you know capital you know I, I add to your question. You said is it this you know how is it different? Well, it, it can be it can be the same in terms of dragging a bait on the bottom. We, we've had some of our best fishing for halibut um, just fishing swim baits up in relatively shallow so water. Hard. Yes, we're hard hard bottom meet sandy bottom and just fishing um, you know just regular five inch viejos on three quarter ounce lead heads. Usually in the kelp we fish a little. He I like to fish a little heavier. I fish a lot of ounce and ounce and a half, but um, we were fishing three quarter ounce and even half ounce, and uh, you know just very neutral bait fish type colored swim baits, clears and blues and silvers and things like that, and just casting them up into the beach and letting them hit the bottom and winding them back. It was it, I mean, it was it was like calico bass fishing, but you wind up a ten pound halibut instead. It was really fun. Yeah, when you're fishing that stuff close to the beach, you wouldn't think unless you've done it or seen somebody do it, that there would be you know a 20 pound fish in five inches of water. Exactly. And uh, casting up onto the rocks and dragging it back in and getting bit, it's, uh, 
It's an experience. Fun stuff. And and, and L- Rosie always teases us with pictures of big halibut. So they live, okay. they live there. Yeah, they, they, live, they there. live there. So if you looked at our social media this week where I was promoting us being on the Let's Talk Hookup show, um, the gentlemen, the two guys that are in that, Art and Sammy, I text them and said, what did you catch that on? Because I know it's going to come up. So basically he said it was a dropper loop with small live bait. There that's what go. they caught that 50 pounder on. Dropper loop, so small, small, live, small bait. live bait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's certainly probably the most effective way to catch a halibut. There certainly. you go. No doubt. Yeah. Always has been and always will yeah. be. There, that is, they like live bait. John John coined that term forever ago about uh, rooster fish, that they're a sucker for live bait, and that's what a halibut is. Yeah. For sure. Can you catch them other ways? Sure. They bite jerk baits, and they bite swim baits, and they bite all kinds of things. That's a live bait fish. Yeah, it just, for it, sure. it just is. For it's sure. Like, kind of like a difference between a small hamburger versus a nice ribeye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, the giant used tackle sale, the Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, giant used or friends of Rollo, whatever you want to call it, just come and spend money and take yes. kids fishing. That's that's the most Get important. Get some good stuff. 11 to 3 p.m. at Sea Force Board Fishing. 11 to 3 p.m., one week from today, next Saturday. Like Rosie said, get there early. Get there early, get in line. Because the there's a line. Yeah, yeah, I know it. some of the stuff that's going to be yeah, there. You it's, guys need to be there. It's, 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 yeah, it's good. So, so just in time for us to finish the show and go. Get and then go and get in yeah. line. Okay, yeah, I like it. Um, so uh, eleven to three at Sea Fourth, and the way I found that out as I went to RolloKids.com. That's the easiest thing. That's the website. Just check it out if you want to have any questions about it. RolloKids.com. All right, got to have a great text. But here's a point: if you don't leave your name and your phone number, we can't get you the prize if you're the winner and this is a good question but he didn't leave his name and didn't leave his phone number so you know get the prize (laughs) i have traveled quite a few fishing trips in mexico to various spots and i often bring a snorkel and mask and fins is that something i should consider on my first trip to cedro sport fishing you know what your trip is your trip you can do whatever you'd like to do we do have people that um not only snorkel but also they spearfish down spearfish, there too yeah. so um, yeah so do you have people that bring rods reels and spear guns yes and absolutely. Sn- snorkels absolutely and you- snorkels and they love it they i mean they usually come back and they say oh my gosh it is like a fish tank down oh there. yeah and the it's, water's clear the water is clear yeah. they said it's unbelievable bring your wetsuit, it's a little chilly the life that is yeah. that's down under in there so yeah but just also remember this is an island out in the middle of the ocean. Right. Okay, guys? Yeah. We do have sharks. Oh, yeah. We've got makos, we've got threshers, and we do have sharks down there. Great so, whites, too. Great. They not only out. that, but, I mean, a few years ago, we had the, the orcas showed up. Oh, yeah, ah. that's cool. And that's pretty darn cool. But, yeah, we've got, we've got at least, I would say, a dozen people a year that um, mask, snorkel, spears, or, or just even sometimes they just go down and they swim in the water with the kids. That's down what there, I was thinking. And that's they where they're snorkel down there. Sure. Handy. Absolutely. Yeah. That's so, like one, one of the funnest parts is coming back and seeing all the local kids are jumping off the dock. And it's absolutely. like, you know, you get that sense of familia there so absolutely. much. It's like a, it's a cool, happy community. Everybody's so proud. The kids are stoked. It's, you know, after school. And when the boat comes in to unload, they're jumping off the dock and they're stoked to see what you brought back. It's absolutely. That, that's, that's where I pictured that mask and snorkel really coming in. Exactly. Handy. So we certainly want to bring bring everything well let's talk about weight how what do you what do you want to bring what do you want to leave home you know guys it's still 72 pounds of coming and a going <laughs> yeah. okay 72 so, pounds per person, per person. a coming and a going okay so that includes so, your rods does not include your rods oh okay it, 72 what, pounds that's a lot of weight you know it's more weight it's than pl- you think it's plenty coming yeah, yeah but, but it depends on what you want to bring home what you okay. want oh, okay so but if you so, don't want to bring fish home you, there but you here's go. the scoop Here's the scoop. Your rods go inside the aircraft. We've made a deal with the, the airplane, you know, with ASG. The rods go inside the aircraft. That leaves you 72 pounds inside the belly of the aircraft. So remember, we're a lodge. You don't need shampoo. You don't need soap. You don't need towels. You don't need bedding, linens, pillows. Well, some people take their pillows, don't you, yeah. Jeff? <laughs> okay. So whatever. But, you know, the rest of the stuff is, you know, really streamline your tackle. And that is one thing that you I really... You don't need a lot of clothes, too, right? You don't. We because have a laundry you'll service do laundry down service, there. laundry service, yeah. You know, if you're going there in summertime, you need three pairs of shorts, three pairs of shorts. Now, remember, you're wearing a pair of short and shirts down there, so you're only packing... 
a couple pairs of shorts, a couple yeah. pairs of shirts. Mm -hmm. You always need, always, always, always need either a sweatshirt with a hoodie, a hoodie sweatshirt, or a light jacket, only because in the mornings when you're heading out, you get a little spray on the exactly. pongas. Um, you don't need your extra tough, long-range fishing boots. Those weigh a lot. You need... You know, if you're fishing in sneakers or flip-flops, or if you're me, you fish barefoot or in socks. You know, whatever you're comfortable with, but you don't need your heavy, extra tough boots. Um, and again, it's like, you know, Jeff is perfect at helping customers streamline their tackle. You don't need to bring your huge tackle box. You know, you got a soft-sided tackle box, you put some light irons in there. You might want to put in one or two yo-yos, maybe, um, you know, some jerk baits, some hooks, some line, always extra line, um, some of Corey's MC swim baits. You know what? A, a sabiki setup, you're good to go. That's all you need. You know, the best thing about going down there is like, you know, people say, well, can I take alcohol? Of course you can take alcohol. We take alcohol. You can take your handle of whatever you like if you're rock cod rick it's rum i believe call, that's Rizzo. right and uh, you can take that down there and you know even if you want to take a some a 12 pack of canned beer you can take that down there because guarantee it, it ain't coming back <laughs> you're going to be using that up and that's going to bring because uh, that's weight, weight that you're going that's, down with where you don't you're not worried about weight coming down you're worried about weight, weight coming, coming back, back. Uh, so you can maximize your fish coming so back. Your fish right. come back maximize no. your fish coming so back. so speaking of rum let's head down to panama Ooh. the cast man okay. richard castaneda is in Panama right now, and this report sponsored by Dana Landing on Mission Bay. They'll be having their huge, big sale Saturday, May 14th. That's a, a big sale, so mark your calendar for that. It all starts with a live Let's Talk Hookup broadcast at 7. Ricky and I will be there. Yeah. And the sale will go on all day. Incredible deals like buy two, get one free on several items like gamakatsu hooks and a lot more. Free spectra fill on any real purchase. Ooh. Free jig ring replacement by OCT. California Flyer Seminar by Dwayne Diego. Calico Seminar by our co-host and buddy, Corey Sandin wow. from MC Swimbait. Cool. And much more. Don't miss this event. Mark it down. Saturday, May 14th. It's at Dana Landing on Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com. Good morning, Pass Man. Hey, buenos dias, Pete. I'm in beautiful downtown Panama City at the... El Panama Hotel, and you guys are loud and clear. Nice. Oh, that's that's cool. amazing. On the app? Yeah, on the app. We're working fantastic. great, let me tell you. It's just I this portion couldn't of the get it to work fun. before, you know, but with the app, it's working fantastic. But, that's uh, fabulous. Yeah, I got in, uh, got in last night, myself and Dwayne Bernard. The rest of the boys arrived in this morning and a couple are later on this evening, and uh, we'll head for Pesca, Panama. we got to fly out there at uh, 2 tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so we'll be be on the boat, ready to rock and roll um, tomorrow evening and Monday morning. We're heading off to those banks at, Mon at uh, Hannibal Bank, Montosa Island, Hickorone Island, and their favorite island, Coiba Island, uh, where the uh, mothership will be moored out there and uh, fishing off those 27-foot center council boats. And I understand lots of tuna right now. And Pete, big tuna. You know what they did last night? Oh, Gary, Dr. Gary is going to be in heaven. <laughs> oh, I know it. I know it. He's, he's, he, he, the man loves, loves to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he does. But, <laughs> he's hurt me many but times. But anyway, uh, yeah, just real quick, uh, Loretto looks like those uh, yellowtail are starting to come back again like the, they had been uh, before the sharks moved in. But uh, the, the, the bite there is picking up again, so it looks like it's going to be just perfect um, for our Let's Talk hookup. Loretto Rumble May one to five, and uh, we got uh, a total of uh, twenty three boats on that uh, tournament wow. and uh, forty eight people. So it should be a hoot. Uh, and uh, we got the awards dinner set up there at uh, La Michon Hotel for uh, Wednesday night at six. And uh, Pete, dress up, look good. You'll be presenting the awards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, Cass man, I got it. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, uh, and good news for San Jose del Cabo. Those tuna are moving back into those. Banks just around the Punta Gorda there, uh, the Iman and San Luis banks starting to pick up on the tuna. Gosh, you know, they've been absent for, gosh, since November, but they're coming back in. And uh, there was an 80 pounder caught uh, combination of uh, cut squid and a dead sardina. Um, but the fish are some nice quality fish, you know, 15 to 40 pound fish, and uh, not a lot, but they're there and they're coming in numbers. And of course, it's a good Dorado bite. And if you want striped marlin, my God. It's an incredible striped marlin bite, uh, that southern tip there from East Cape all the way around to Cabo San Lucas. But that's a report for this week. 
Um, I'll give you guys a report next Saturday. Uh, no, I'm going to be in the air next Saturday morning at 8 o'clock Panama time. So I'll give you guys a call uh, if I get a chance on Sunday. Otherwise, uh, you'll be in the airport. Week. You'll be in the air on Sunday too, because you get back from Panama, yeah. and we have a 6:45 a.m. flight on Sunday morning to Loretto. Don't forget. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I get I get home Saturday at uh, two o'clock and uh, head for Chula Vista at seven. Get up at four thirty and meet you guys at the airport. So you're an animal, yeah, Cass, yeah. man. So when Cass returns, so, is not, that not an animal. I was going to say, is that report sponsored? Local. Local. There you go. When Cash returns from Panama, is that report also sponsored by Dana Landing, or will that one be sponsored by Ron Zacapa? Uh, It might be Ron Zacapa, yeah. It could be, yeah, for sure. Well, hey, Cass, man, say hi to Bernie for me. He'll be fishing with me in uh, September. So if he's down there with you, that's awesome. Perfect. Well, have have fun on that. He loves your place. And and, and if anybody wants to go on a trip, how do we get hold of you, Cass? 800-593-6510 800-593-6510 or on the web at www.cassstewards.com. And I guess it'll be two weeks from today I'll be talking to you guys again. That's right, Cass. I'll see you in Loretto. I'll see you at the airport All right, at man. CBX. Have a great trip, <laughs> Cass. Right, Thanks. That's going to wrap care, us guys. up. Hey, focus your offshore fishing in the best areas by using Terrafin charts. Temperature, chlorophyll, and more. Terrafin is the professional's choice for dependability and accuracy. And now with Terrafin Mobile, you can download the latest charts on your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android device. Check Terrafin.com for more information. You look at Terrafin right now, and you see exactly where those it's, tuna are. I mean, it's, you it's, see where the boats are fishing? You see that pocket of water? Yeah. That's what Terrafin does. And it, it's it's it, that's which you, why you need terrafin. You always hear about boats talking about fishing edges of water, you know, whether it be edges of color, or edges of temperature, or whatever it is, and like that's how you find that. And when you look at it, there's a very distinct lot, you know, there's a very distinct edge where where two you know two separate pieces of water come together, and that's it. That's, that's where that's they where are. It's at. Yeah, no doubt. for sure. All right. Well, hey, let's Joe go ahead and jump back in those jam packed phones, Rick. You got it. How about this time we talked to Rich? He's calling us from Camarillo this morning. Good morning, Rich. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my question is um, if there's any facility for smoking your fish uh, down in the island, uh, yellowtail and whatnot. Yeah, it's so funny that you asked that because I had that question um, a couple of weeks ago from uh, someone sent me an email. Um, as of right now, unfortunately, no. We don't have smoking down there on the island. And um, that is definitely something that we were kind of like looking into. Um, sometimes getting uh, larger things down to the island can be a little bit of a challenge going through. We have to go through Guerrero Negro and get on the barges and get stuff um, you know, over there. But I tell you what, if you, um, do you have a smoker of your own at home, Rich? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, okay yes, so if I you have, have a smoker of your own. Okay, if you have a smoker at home, um, I'm sure between your recipes and my recipes, we can get you some of the best smoked yellowtail you've ever had. So Fantastic. Like Hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Uh, great text here um, from uh, Dan listening to us on the app in San Jose. And, boy, I'll tell you, so many people are tuning in on the app now, totally. and it's so great. So It's so easy. It's easy. Yeah. So, I mean, even people that can tune in on the Mightier 1090, they still... Like, yeah. listen on the app because it's easy. Well, how yeah. cool that Cass is in Panama right now listening, and he's listening to the show. On the app. Yeah. yeah, crystal clear. Pretty fantastic. Well, anyway, Dan's question is, if the weather makes conditions unfishable, are there any land-based activities to fall back on and explore the island? <laughs> That's a good question. We've only had this happen a handful, and I'm one, one handful at yeah. times, to where the, the wind has picked up. But with the lee of the island, right. you got to remember, we got a big lee of the big island. Lee. Big lee. And which is where we do catch a lot of those halibut, by the way. Yeah. So if, if it's not fishable on the other side of the island, for the most part, you can fish on the lee of the island. And now, a lot of good fishing good for fishing. yellowtail, calico bass, halibut, white sea bass, white sea bass yeah, everything. Absolutely. All the golden spotted bass we've ever caught have oh, always been my from the, yeah. on the yes. side of the island. Yeah. So, and if for some crazy reason, if the harbor master has now closed the mm-hmm. harbor and we cannot even go out, uh, there are plenty of um, areas down kind of by the airport, El Moro area, that you can fish from the rocks. Yeah. And our crew and the Ponga captains, a lot of times, the Ponga captains will go right down with you, show you guys where to fish. A lot of times they'll bring barbecues and barbecue fresh fish right there That's for cool. you. That's sure. So, and you um, cruise a salt mine, right? You can still do that? You can, you can do that. Another yeah. thing is, um, and I have set this salt up before. Factory, I should say. Yeah. Is uh, uh, the transport facility. Yeah. yeah. So um, if we also have a lobster and abalone co-op. That's what I want to okay? do. Okay. And if you want... Want to go and 
view tour the lobster and abalone co-op you do need to wear closed-toed shoes and jeans or long pants of some sort so that is definitely available all right so are there are things to do yes and you, you it's very easy to walk up the beach <clears throat> excuse me once you walk down the steps mm-hmm. yeah uh, wear beach shoes, stuff you can get wet. You're going to be walking on cobblestones. But you can walk a good mile, mile and a half up the beach from the lodge. And we've done it, and we fished it, and we've caught a whole lot of fish yeah. right at the shoreline in front of the lodge. You can catch how, so, well the halibut. You can catch 40-pound yellowtail from the beach. Oh, yes, yes, you can. Yes, yes. it's yes. been done. Yeah, yeah. and uh, one of the things you want to make sure you do is you wear baggy shorts with big pockets so you can shove a couple beers in there. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you bring the AFCO uh, backpack. That there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bring one of those down where it has your water, your little camera pack, camera nice. 3600. Yeah, yeah, got it all. That's so good, that, that, that's good tip. Yeah, for sure. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more of these great texts. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California's sport fishing voice on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. This is Art Taylor from Searcher Sport Fishing. Celia and I and the rest of Team Searcher would like to thank all of our loyal customers for their support. Searcher has air conditioned cabins, great great food, an RSW system to preserve your catch, and a fantastic crew. If you're looking for an affordable fishing adventure, a chance to catch a fish of a lifetime, our 2022 schedule is available now. Book your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia or Aaron at 619-226-2403. Hey, it's time to talk about great equipment from Shimano, and when you're headed to Cedro Sport Fishing, you want to take Shimano and Tranks oh, man. with you. What's tranks go to? Tranks 500 for surface iron fishing, right? Tr- yes. Tranks 400 for weedless fishing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tranks 300 for leadhead and swim bait fishing. Yeah. I mean, it, or it, even the 200. No, no doubt. Really yeah, sure. It. Yeah. Uh, tranks and then uh, Torium is one of your favorites, right? Uh, well, actually, that's what I let Rosie use. Oh, you uh, do not. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the tranks. That's what yeah. I carry that. That's my go to reel and in the sizes that Ricky just mentioned. And uh, yeah, you, you do that. No problem. Yeah. I think the only other thing I might throw in would be like a Speedmaster 12 or a Talica 12 that you have one heavy rig that becomes the general purpose. purpose. You could fly line a mackerel. You could slow yep. troll a bait. You could wind a yo-yo jig. You could troll a Rapala. Just like the one heavy, just general purpose rig. Something you could fish 40 or 50 pound on. Speedmaster 12, TAC 12, Trinidad 20, something like that. Torium right. 20. Get it at your local Shimano dealer. There's such a choice. Oh, man, totally. (laughs) As the inventor and world leader in fluorocarbon, Seaguar has you covered with four-liter choices to help you catch more fish. Gold Label is Seaguar's thinnest and strongest leader. Floral Premier has a thin diameter with high break strength and softness. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions. From 2 pounds to 400 pounds, pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit seaguard.com for your next fishing adventure check point loma sport fishing they offer half day trips on the daily double and full day trips on the mission bell every day perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen point loma sport fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the american angler vagabond intrepid independence new loan t-bird game changer and more visit point loma sport fishing.com where you can purchase tickets online want to go fishing point loma sport fishing has you covered Want to take your catch from fresh to superior grade? This is Robbie Gant from AFCO. We develop the tools for the EKGMA process. Circuit Breaker is specially designed to disable the full length of the fish's spinal cord. The memory-resistant wire of AFCO Circuit Breaker will not bend or kink, even after repeated use. Take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Available at a dealer near you or check out AFCO.com. To find dealer locations and to find everything an angler needs, visit ATFCO.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. We're having a great time here with Rosie and Jeff this morning talking Cedro Sport Fishing. We want to talk to you. Been a very busy morning. First time we've had an open phone line since the start of the show. If you're ready to get us, 213-432-1090. Hey, we have, you know, we have the, the, the site on Let's Talk Hookup.com. Our shop page yeah. is up and it's working. And I've loaded it with a lot of new, new items. Oh. And to celebrate, we're going to have a phenomenal sale. It's going on right now. Okay, get this. AFCO Vertex shorts, regularly $54 for 
twenty nine dollars. I had to Dude. check my writing here. Twenty nine dollars for a Vertex shirt. Okay, That's a great nicely travel, done. Yeah, great travel shirt. Get this one. Horizon That's a shirt, not shorts, right? Shirt. Yeah, right. The Horizon weatherproof. Uh, jacket, the mm-hmm. one I wear yep. every day. It's windproof, waterproof, it's weatherproof. Regularly $118, 74 bucks. Nice. How about that? Now, all these have Let's Talk Hook Up embroidered logos yeah. on them or, or, or stamp logos on them. The Samurai Performance uh, Long Sleeve Shirt. It's like the Sun Protection Style yeah. shirt. Great shirt. Regularly 35 bucks. Nineteen dollars. Oh, you're gonna sell a lot of those. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are great shirts. And get this: the Vista, um, the quarter zip uh, fleece, mm-hmm. the quarter zip uh, uh, fleece with an embroidered logo on it. Regularly fifty five dollars, twenty seven bucks. Less than half price. You got a lot of yeah, shipping yeah, yeah. in front of you, buddy. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, other. So that sale's going on that's while great. supplies last. Okay. Let's talk hookup.com. It's again, while supplies last. Let's talk hookup.com. Go on the shop page and uh, have fun. Nicely done, yeah, man. Right yeah, on. We'll ship cool. it right out to you. Well, the phones are absolutely packed up solid. We're jumping right back into them right now. Talking to Stephen, calling us from Lucadia this morning. Hi, Steve. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Hello, Rosie. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing great. You know, I'm going to be on the LTH trip as well. and Yes, you are. I'll tell you, it's been a bit of a scramble because I'm uh, having to get an offshore frame of mind for my inshore fishing now. I've never owned a 50-pound rated spinning rod, but I do now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Well, I'm sure that will come to good use down no there. No doubt. Yeah, well, really looking forward to going. we got some great guys on this trip. Uh, actually, one of the guys coming with us is a professional videographer specializing in underwater stuff. Oh, So yes. we may be getting some interesting uh, interesting footage out of that trip. Really looking forward to it. Uh, that'll be, on that'll another be note, That'll be really cool. Yeah, on another note, CCA has a new member charter on the San Diego on the 22nd of July, which I'll also be on. So anybody that wants to go on the San Diego with a trip that's guaranteed to be 30 sweethearts on the boat, that's the one to get on. Well, well, there you go. All right. Great. Good information. Hey, appreciate the call very much. Thanks thanks a lot for that. Uh, I have a great text here from Patrick calling us from Dana Point, and he wants to know how many pounds of fish can we bring home on the plane, and have they considered doing the uh, sh- uh, the AFCO Ikajimi treatment on the fish? And that's uh, good questions there. Okay. So I can answer the Ikajimi. Okay, you do that one. You bring it down exactly. and do it yourself. Or teach the pongero how to do it. And that's kind of on you. This is the scenario where that is perfect for it. Yeah. You know, I mean, again, you know, we sit on the, the middle of a hot bite at, you know, at – at Guadalupe with, you know, 30 guys and fish flying over the rail, that's probably not the time to be able to to do the Ikejime process, which is like this the very high-end process of bleeding and then running the cord through the spinal column. You know what I mean? Like the, the primo treatment of the fish. Perfect scenario for Cedros because all you need to bring is that, uh, you know, is the circuit breaker wire, a spike, and a pair of clippers. I mean, it's the perfect scenario for down there. Um, and yeah, and, it, and, and that packs, would be on you. And it packs easy and light, yeah, for sure. And I'm sure you could teach the Pongaro, and he'd probably really like it. Actually, um, we do have a couple of trips down there. A gentleman named Alan uh, has a few trips, and what he asked the Ponga captains to do is they'll pull a gill plate, mm-hmm. they'll bleed it, sure. and make sure that. You know, it's all it's bled out. Premium. And it's premium. Put it yeah. on ice. So. Now, how much fishing can we bring home? You know, once again, we kind of covered that a little bit earlier. It depends on how much uh, you take down. So, I mean, Jeff and I are usually pretty good. We're right about 35 pounds each, which means we can each bring back about 40 pounds of table-ready filleted fish. Wow. And you know what? When, when you look table at your, ready table ready filleted fish. Table ready. And you know, What's the yield on a, say, a yellowtail? You know, a, a, if you guys look at a yellowtail, I'm trying to look in Pete's office. And yeah, got a yellow like fifty percent, maybe. Oh gosh, no, yeah. not, even, not even close. close. If oh. you look at where the gill plate is, because uh-huh. that's where your first cut goes. Look at that gill plate on a fish, even on this white sea bass behind us. Yeah, I mean that head and that gill plate collar comes off. There's there, a lot of there's weight. a lot of waste so there. So thirty percent, forty percent, thirty percent at the most. So the think most. about that. You can bring forty pounds of table ready yes. fish. And, that's a lot of pounds of fish you're catching. That is a lot of pounds of fish. And you I, you don't realize how much 40 pounds it's is. It's a lot. It's a lot of fish. Yeah. So, so you know, it depends. So, again, depends on 
how much gear you're bringing down, yes. how much you're leaving there. That's right. And how much you're taking home. And Rosie said a, a big thing there, the fish there comes table ready. There's when you're talking about forty pounds coming home, you're you're gaining a lot in you know, if you take forty pounds worth of fillet and add up the amount of bloodline that's taken out and the amount of skin, skin that's, that's taken, taken out. Taken I mean that's bones. that's yes. a that's a that's a real percentage. I mean there's you know, you're bringing home a lot of of, of table ready product. Yes. So people might be thinking, how do you know how much fish you're going to be able to bring back? And, and it's real simple. Uh, when you're ready to leave the night before, Richard and the other um, uh, crew members crew members will help you to bring your bags down. Uh, at the other lodge, I'm not sure who it's going to be, but we have a, our scales done here. We use for weighing the fish. They'll weigh your bags. They'll weigh your oh, return cool. weight. They write it down. They get a total. And then when they pack your fish, that night when they get it ready to go to put in the coolers in the morning, they know exactly how much fish goes in that bag. And it's your fish you caught because they're all color identified, mm-hmm. color coded based on and, your your tag color. When you and you don't have to bring a bag, you supply the bags and yeah, then you we, transfer to your coolers. You know, and that's such a good thing that you just brought up because um, we do have soft sided cooler bags that we provide for you guys to bring your fish home. You leave your coolers in your car unless you have your own soft-sided cooler ah. bag. And this is what we do. We have our own, okay? So when we go down there, we supply our bags. They're completely filled up. So when we get back to the U.S. side, we just put our bags in the car. Mm. If you have a soft-sided cooler bag, please go ahead and bring it down with okay. you this year. Um, unfortunately, with this whole COVID thing that's been going around the last few years, um, we had been purchasing our cooler bags, which right now are very difficult to find. Yeah. So my cooler like bags that we stuff. use down there are Got kind it. of a little bit on the wear and tear. So if you do have a soft sided cooler bag, please bring it with you. They'll pack it up for you right away. And like Jeff said, everything gets weighed out. Um, and then what our crew will do is you will get your best pieces. You will get your upper shoulders, mm-hmm. your center loins, um, your upper tail sections. They will pack your bag with the best of the best. So if I've to got, take home. I've got, 38 pounds that of fish that I'm allotted to bring home, they're going to go through and pick out the premium 38 pounds worth of cuts. And then if I have extra, then it's going to go to the next person. Maybe it goes to Fish Tacos or Lodge the well, next day, whatever. Or let, let's say that you know the next person um, can take more fish, so to speak. Well, you'll get your fish. Uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Because yeah. my partner that I went down with, he get, he's got 45 pounds to go, and he only had yeah. 32 pounds of fish or whatever. Right. Got so, it. I mean, you'll, we, we weigh to where you'll, you'll yeah. get most you of your fish. You do your very best. And you will always get your exotics. So you'll all your all gotcha. your white sea bass will go in. All your hal- halibut will go they in. And the then priority. your best pieces nice. of yellow tail. All right. Very good. Well done. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. Another full hour. Plus, we're going to check in with the catch reports, find out what's biting up and down the beach. A lot to come. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Are you passionate about fishing and the great outdoors, but not quite sure where to go? Look no further than Queen Charlotte Safaris in pristine British Columbia, Canada. Hello, this is Valerie Hopridge. There's so many reasons to join us on your next fishing adventure. A few of the highlights are fishing in protected, calm waters. Very important. Quality Chinook salmon run all season long. After you've caught your salmon, we're going to go out for the great Pacific halibut, lean cod, rockfish, and dungeness crab. Our beautiful lodge overlooks Shingle Bay and Sand Spit, and it's so easy to get to. Fly from almost any airport into Vancouver and then on to Sand Spit. Fish processing, your fishing license, your gear, all included. Just bring that fishing arm and that smile. Let our chef pamper you with amazing meals while our staff gives you wonderful hospitality, all included in your Queen Charlotte Safaris package. Give me a call on our toll free number 1 877 815 2892 or go to our website, qcsafaris.com. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's 
Frenchman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half day, full, or one to three day trips can easily be booked online at fishermanslanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors, it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pockets. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment at the very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchoLandArrow.com. It's unique. The future comes standard at your San Diego County Ford dealers, so swing on by and check out the legendary Ford F-150, the smart and capable Ford Ranger, and the all-new Ford Bronco Sport. New inventory is arriving daily, and your San Diego County Ford dealer is here to help you build and order the truck or SUV of your dreams. Want to make sure you get the right truck to tow your boat? They'll help you order the right configuration to meet your needs. Want to make sure you get the right SUV to haul your gear on your next adventure? They've got you covered there, too. Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, Explorer, and Expedition. They've got the SUV that's perfect for you. If it isn't on the lot, they'll order it and get you exactly what you need. They want your trade, so swing by your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com to see all the great deals. They'll be glad to hook you up. 